So we'll see. All oh, right. Happens. I just got to talk to uh to manager logical. Uh, much more pleasant of a human being than Coach Panders. Really? Anyways, uh, Logical says that uh, the players did not nap between series and the, they complained about being tired. You said it was, they complained about being tired? Yeah. Nice. I speak for the trees. <laughs> because they have to play the first and the last series. Hey, would you look at that? It happened because they had to move their matches back and unfortunately weren't able to reschedule into a more convenient time. But this is what happens when you dodge. You guys, eventually you got to make up for it. Things catch up with you eventually. Just but, like my comments about this Ricky not getting picked. Yeah, a little bit silly there. They do get their Ricky. I, I do look very foolish. Are you happy, Ricky? Not too much. No. Other Ricky? Other Ricky. Okay. Uh, the one thing, though, that is nice with this Nature's Profit pick is, like I said earlier, Speed has been playing this a decent amount in the offlane as practice, so this could be Speed's hero, considering they actually banned all three of his other heroes, the Broodmother, the Death Prophet, and the um, the Dinosaur. I can't remember his name. Primal Beast. Thank you. You good there, champ? We've seen that hero in a lot of games today. It's been a long day. Uh, we have been... How long? Where's there's the how? Where's the time on this? God, seven hours and forty five minutes. It's been a long day, but what can you do? Ravens here. Let's see what they go for. Ooh, I was thinking about this for speed actually. So this is a little bit of a deny pick, but also very good for five rat, as he's great at chasing down heroes like the Triant Protector. So I like this a lot. This is very smart. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it also blocks. Uh, it's, it's, it's it blocks his speeds pick too. Yeah, this is going to be another an way. amazing game earlier yeah. with the item scepter picked up. Uh, God, it, all the games just kind of blend together yeah, into one ban. game after a certain point. Yeah. Dyer gets the ban. Ban's going to come yeah. through. Templar assassin for one. Ursa for the other. We need a DNM hero. Urza, definitely one of them. You so I got distracted. I was talking about rat related experiments with uh, Double A uh, just now in between the games. Are you familiar with that many of them? I feel like this is on topic because five rat, four staff are playing, which is the reason why we're discussing these uh, rat related biology and social experiments. Mm, I see. Are you familiar with many of them? Yeah, I watched. Uh... I am legend. Banning time. No, that's. But I, I feel like there's some of these uh, concepts we can't talk about there. We'll talk about them between games. Uh, I see. Anyways, okay. um, Templar Assassin and Doug, uh, Siren both banned out. I mean, you really want to get rid of Parker's Templar Assassin. I mean, like that one's a no-brainer. Yeah, it's also a really good Naga game. Ten like you have no, you have no illusion clear outside of Pango at the moment, and mm -hmm. as the game goes late, it's just not going to be enough. So makes sense. Right, they get rid of the Drow Ranger. I'm trying to think mm -hmm. what you can go with here. It is probably going to be a, a, a mid-tiny, I would guess, at this point, but you need a safe mm -hmm. lane for both teams, most likely, or the, uh, the off lane exactly. here could be something new and spicy that we haven't seen speed play. Unlikely. So they bend out the primal, they pick two minutes open. Uh-huh, uh-huh. For a lesh rack. So it means all likelihood it'll be speed on either the Nature's Prophet or the Pango. I know speed does play Lesh Rack though. I think it's he's, I think he's it's playing gonna be it mid. Lesh mid. Speed was playing a lot of Lesh mid a while ago. Yeah. So we'll see. The exactly. lanes do move around. It's probably Nature's Prophet in the safe lane. Ravens is a faceless void available. It is indeed not a bad faceless void game. You got it's, Snapfire. It's Dota time. Oh, they go they for go the for Spectre, Spectre instead. instead. I Just mean, it, as good. Yeah, the Blade Mail, right? Yeah. So that's what Parker's going to play. I mean, Blade Mail is incredibly good. Have you seen the build on the Spectre? Yeah, I was, six mangoes, Quelling Blade. Yeah, okay. I was talking to uh, Badger about it. The one of the days where you were busy, um, Blade is... Uh, Message to me, and he's like, Oh, hey, uh, I need someone to cover a series this time. Like, wait, isn't ET and Gamar doing that? And he's like, No, 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 no. We're having multiple series of BTS per series gone at the same time in order to fit the schedule. I'm like, Oh, God. Okay. Uh, but I was talking to him about the, the Spectre pickups and how 
Eternal Enemy's been like spamming this and going mangoes and blade meal, just like he did in one of the first pro series that we ended up casting together. Or sorry, no, that was the PTS online. Do you remember that one? Mm, maybe. I don't know. There's been a lot. My brain's kind of mush. I see. And my I mean, old we, age. We've, we've done like, I think, 12 different BTS tournaments together, so it makes sense. I've casted like 3,000 games of Dota, dude. You're exaggerating slightly. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I've casted about 3,000 games of Dota. Get a load of this guy. Yeah. It's all kind of a blur at this point. <laughs> you think you'd be good at it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to mute you for the rest of the, uh, the for the duration of the broadcast now, everyone. Mm -hmm. Neff, uh, he's going to be in jail. It's for fine. They're not going to lose anything of value. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> I'll give it to you. That was a really good one. That was okay, a really this... good one. <laughs> the Spectre uh, is really solid against it. He's profit and uh, the less track, though. Just being able to walk on top of the blade mail, like him, uh, you built. Um... Scotty as well to be able to chase these heroes down. You don't really care about getting like held in place or blown up. Uh, you mostly just return damage with Desolate and Blade. So it feels pretty good. Um, I like the. I'd say that I probably prefer the Raven's Draft here, in fact. I just don't think that they have an amazing setup for the arrows on Marana. Uh, but as long as Spectre doesn't have a horrible lane, I think they win this. Okay. I don't like the Midas first item. Uh, it's not even just Midas. This is first not item. the build. It's Wraith Band. Midas. Yeah, this is not the build. This is, in fact, not the build, everybody. I don't... I am lost. I am confused, for sure. Because Nature's Prophet will actually outright click you in this lane. Super hard. <laughs> yeah, you started Blightstone with the first item as well. So it's going to be Ricky and Nature's Prophet against him. Yeah, the and I'm not sure if you saw Ricky, but he it. also went Orb of Corrosion. Orb of Venom. Or, yeah, sorry, Orb of Venom. And uh, right, they'll be able to trade really there. easily in this lane. <laughs> All right. It's hard to doubt Parker, I'll be honest, especially at nighttime. He's got the enhanced senses and enhanced abilities. He's morbed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's more pain. <laughs> oh no. I'll see if it pays off though, dude. I don't know. First item Wraith Band, just right out of the gate. Nothing else. Yeah, it doesn't even get himself tangos either. He just assumes that Kara's going to give them to him. And Kara's only got three tangos. I don't know. I am not a fan of this build. Maybe you buy yourself a salve or something like that, or you buy a bunch of mangoes after uh, you grab the bounty rune, but... But why not come to lane with at least one, one, you know? Yeah. I mean, I get it. It's right-click damage that you're going to be taking from the Nature's Prophet and the Ricky, but it's going to be... I mean... With just armor, you're better off just getting regen, man. Yeah, I, I mean, that's two armor. You could definitely just buy a ring of protection casually if you're like if you're really desperate for armor but centaurs wizards producers you're here because oh man Nick manages to get the rune there and he just walks away uh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh he's fine Okay. He almost body blocked. I thought there was a horrible production mistake. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We don't have those. Mm. <laughs> you think this is the DPC mm. or something, dude? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't make we don't make horrible production mistakes here, dude. Come on. Yeah. I mean, flawless performance. Only the best here at BTS. It feels okay. Good. So. He, the Spectre is sending out items for, uh, right away. He's sending out the Quelling Blade and, and uh, Mango. I don't think this one would be enough, but they're not even, like, committing that hard onto uh, Parker here. Like, I would just be focusing my clicks onto the Spectre. If I see the Spectre come to lane without any regen, I would think the disrespect, get angry, and then start clicking them off cooldown. The thing that is shocking is they had a ward scouting these couriers, and he didn't bother to snipe the courier there. 
but yeah. maybe it's worth it because maybe they're expecting him to bring more regen out and they'll just snipe the regen courier. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's just definitely going to be bringing more regen. Yeah. Has changed his mind from the Midas, by the way. His uh, magic wand and then power treads blade mail queued up, which is what you want. Blade mail farms you faster on Spectre than a Midas does. And it's like the same cost. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. In fact, I think it's cheaper. Uh, blade mail is, is like it's cheaper to buy a blade mail than a Midas. It's uh, 2100. Blade mail is 2100? Yeah. Yeah, it's cheaper to buy a blade mail than it is a Midas in this economy. That is insane. All right, I like the changes in Parker's build here. He's not going to go the boots. He's not going to do that. He's just going to go straight into the blade mail, which is what I've seen most Spectres do, and I think it is definitely the smart and the correct way to go. He's going to see the Courier now, which has a full stick or a full wand. Or no, it is just a stick and two branches. It is not a full wand. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm curious if Nick goes to try and snipe this or not. He doesn't. Well, All right. He's being chased down by Kara. Uh, Alright, let's talk uh, other lanes. Uh, the mid lane. DP on the tiny up against uh, Red 2 on the Pango. Red 2 had a decent performance on Pango earlier today. Yeah, he actually crushed it. It was super good. Top lane, Dismar has a cookie, has to sidestep out of the nature's grasp. He's going to be fine. He's fast enough to get away. But uh, yeah, top lane or mid lane, we saw Red 2 have a really, really good performance on Pango earlier to where it was respect banned in game two. They did not want to deal with it. So I'm curious how he's going to do here. He has the Ricky to play alongside as well, which was what gave him such a a really strong early game. He had like an 11 minute def or like a 12 minute defusal, I think. We'll see if he makes it work again. Yeah. I mean, the fast defusal. Uh, this is when. Bounty. Sorry, the fast defusal really made the game uh, a lot better. He found like Lance of Pursuit as well. Then he got the Brigand's Blade afterwards, right? Yeah. It was very good. Yeah. He's doing so much damage with these. Uh, he's just gonna go right away uh, over Corrosion. I mean, it makes sense. If you get this out to you before the tiny even has a single point of grow, uh, you have a lot of harass with it. In fact, he's. Moving lane, he's going to try to grab Dismar, but Dismar opts to hop down to the low ground rather than continue for that bounty run, so he'll probably get away from this. Definitely a smart move there. Bottom lane, Parker is still just getting harassed out very heavily. I mean, this is what we expected. He really shouldn't have come in lane with such little amounts of regen. He's got triple Mango, Wraith, and uh, Band of Elven skin out. If Nick doesn't snipe that one, I don't know. That being said, speed, chase down underneath the tower and dies, giving first spot on over to Kara and Nick ends he up trading. Kill him first. Dude, how does this he happen? He just gets to come back to the lane with full HP now. <laughs> I feel like this is honestly like best case scenario for Parker. Yeah, they, like they just won a lane. They had no business winning. Like speed yeah. has no business dying here in this lane. He can just TP back to base and then TP back to lane instantly. Yeah, this gets a lot harder very quickly once Victor gets the blade mail as well. It's just to be able to chase the flesh rack around the map. I don't know. I feel like with this courier ward, they should have put a lot more emphasis on killing the Spectre's courier and just slowly winning by war of attrition because Nature's Prophet has infinite regen, right? Like, it's a very strange way to play the lane. And Nick's actually just taking a ton of damage here. Goes right into a smoke screen, but I'll be able to continue the chase. He has leap into an arrow. It's going to connect, and Nick, one more Star Storm to find the kill. They do take down Timbersaw top, though. Yeah. Uh, Leshrek and Tributary Banshee get on top of him, and of course, only one point in the chain, he doesn't move that far from them. But once he's slowed up, he basically just dies. Oh, uh, we are oh, just about six minutes in, so he is going to make the rotations of the power runes. We see uh, Dismar coming in from top lane, car from bottom. Red 2 could go for top. Ooh, he just used Swash, though. It's going to be a DD. Yeah. Uh, that is, that's going to hurt a lot. Oh, oh my gosh. Tree of Protector. 
the real whomping Willow right now. He starts to on over to PP. Is red he's too. He's just smack him. <laughs> he's just smacking him, dude. Oh my goodness. Probably the scariest uh, hero to get a DD right now. Uh, I, I, had, <laughs> I turned down to the bottom. How do you been? Wasn't he at the rune first? Yeah, I don't think he uh, was paying attention. Was paying enough attention. Paying attention. Yeah, AV1 just grabs a DD rune and. 200 damage uh, ahead. Dismar, he Dismar, still has the DD. don't do it. Have you not learned your lesson, old man? He will get the D ward too. He knows. Uh, maybe one's getting chased down now. Yeah, yeah he should be fine. They have no mana oh. for Star Storm. He needs his mana boots. Mm -hmm. Bottom lane? Nah, they don't, have the, they don't have the chase. I'm really surprised the Spectre is going for like all of these early items before going for the blade mill but with everyone rotating in here a swashbuckle and a shield crash will take down the specter and red two off to another amazing start here on the pangolier kara's already used the mana boots he does not have a lot of mana to work with <laughs> Car, oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, leave off cooldown in a second, but yeah. there's smoke on him. Why did Parker come down here? Uh, <laughs> there's nothing for you here. I don't think he realized Rolling Thunder was back off. And with the huge Wrath of oh. Natures as well. <laughs> Yo. Oh, that is no, a no. massive amount of problems. Off? Dude, it is a 5k lead eight minutes into the game. I've never seen this before. <laughs> How has this happened? I mean, you last picked a Spectre into a not great Spectre game, I guess. I don't, I don't know where the Spectre pick came from. How does, how is it 5K? I mean, look at, look at, look at Red Two. He's four and zero, level, level almost eight. You're free farming, safe lane, less rack. Nature's profit, basically free farming bottom. Dream Protector is. 18 and 10 right now. Dude, the manager of Fiverr was telling me these players are tired. They're not tired. These people are cracked. What's going on? I, I literally couldn't tell you. Right, ben I'm Jazz is like this. The... <laughs> oh, man. I feel like Ben Jazz is the one who has to like make some stuff happen here. Speed bottom lane. Gonna get chased. Arrow does come out from Kara, but... They will just turn it around instead as Red 2 is there. PP Avalanche into the toss. He's going to find the kill. That is something. Another swashbuckle available. Rolling Thunder as well, but Red 2 not going to opt as there is no fall. Yikes. I was saying, you know, Ben has stopped making some plays, but he ends up dying to an overgrowth top lane. Yeah. Him and uh, his left track just going to kill onto him so quickly. Dude, this... This tree and protector, man. He's almost level seven as the five pre 10 minutes. Sometimes you get a DD and basically get a double kill. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I mean, he realized how strong he was once he picked up that rune. He's like, all right, I'll play. Just 220 damage, right clicks? Yeah. That's pretty good. Thank you. just did his level six as this happened as well. He's like a full level down. Probably hoping to catch a glimpse of him nude. All right, smoke the mid lane. Oh, they actually caught him for the moment with the scan. Uh, Red 2 is up missing on the jump. Wait, he comes back mid. Okay, never mind. Swashbuckle. He will not connect onto it. Little Nick, nice dodge there with the tricks of the trade. And then it's a smoke screen as well, so no can't toss, toss out. Him back. No. They'll try to toss Red 2, but he's just got way too much HP for them to get through. And only 650 gold, or sorry, 500 gold away right now from this Diffusal Blade. Once he's got yeah. this one done, he's just going to be doing massive amount of damage and never ruin some people's games. So like 11 or 12 minute Diffusal we saw in game one, man. It's just the same yeah. thing. I mean, it's going to do very well against the Spectre, to be honest. Spectre does not like these long drawn out fights. Yeah. Uh, well, Spectre, sorry, Spectre loves long drawn out fights. I correct myself. You don't like long drawn out fights against a Diffusal Blade, though. Yeah, like, when you have you no You're going to be throwing out several Spectral Daggers. You're going to get like one off in a team fight if he squash buckles you with the Diffusal Blade. So there's a Lance of Pursuit for the Radiance. The question is, will the Dire get it? Also, they're looking for Ben Jazz once again. End up not connecting there.
smoke up on the side of Ravens. I mean, you got Mortimer Kisses. Still not to your Blink Dagger. They've got Moonlight Shadow. You've got to find something here. You've got to get a big kill somehow. Looks like they're looking mm -hmm. for top lane, though. If you look for it too hard, you just end up wasting a bunch of time on the map. Dude, this smoke, if it pops, the they will see him under the ward. Not quite yet, though, as AB1 is into the trees. And DNM, he's dodged this one out. He's all the way gone. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they're looking for Parker again. Oh, Wrath of Nature connects. There will be the avalanche to toss onto DNM as he will end up falling, finally. They get themselves a kill. It's been a little bit of a dry spell for the side of Ravens, but... It's cost them their specter. No, the yeah. Diffusal Blade finished off on red two now, so he's gonna be spamming some heroes whenever he sees them. He also did get the Lance of Pursuit again. So very cool. Balance the rich get things. richer. Dude, the tree protector being level seven right now, like living armor is almost level four. It is taking so long for them to take this tower. So 100 percent uptime and just so much health and regen or so much armor and regen for this thing. Meanwhile, mid lane, Benjaz comes back to try and defend an avalanche of toss here. Ricky does go down right away as speed trying to finish off the tower. He will get it. Red 2 with the rotation on in has a haste rune to work with. Oh my god. Goodbye, go? Kara. And they just go back to farming. Yeah. I'm a little bit surprised by the Maelstrom on the Nature's Prophet as opposed to like a first item Atos or something, right? Like something yeah, I guess to... he plans to be like more of a right click carry this game because he's got a safe lane less track. Yeah, exactly. So. That's why I, that's what I was kind of wondering if that was why. Mm -hmm. They're changing up roles just for that reason. So Spectre has a blade mail. Cues up the Aghanim Scepter. You're pretty underfarmed. Radiant scanning around for enemies. Meanwhile, you're gonna have that 15 minute shard coming out for Ricky, no problem at all. And of course, Pango onto uh, has his diffuser completed. He's gonna be working towards the blank dagger, like pretty quickly here. Yeah, um, it's certainly the blank dagger he's gonna go for next. Just be able. To have even more initiation power because it's him who's going to be standing in the front of these team fights or jumping on top of heroes that he has vision of a lot of time is going to be provided by the ricky so ricky stands in front throws off like a sleeping dart to someone then tango blinks in with rolling thunder active there they got him that's a blink reveal from pp and they managed to get themselves a nice one there onto the pangolier so very big kill yep and Blade Mill completed it on Parker, so it's not going to be so easy for them to jump on top of him now. And Leshrag has to be a little bit more... Actually, I take that back. Leshrag would have to be more careful if the Bloodstone wasn't already completed. Yeah, he's pretty farmed. Yep. Dude, how are you going to get towers on the side of Ravens? Who hits your towers? You have a Nobody hits the towers. You have a Spectre Tiny and a Timbersaw. Who hits towers, man? Yeah, Bottom have lane, have a toss into Arrow. Okay, just kill heroes. Who cares towers? Yeah, eventually you have to kill the Ancient, though, believe it or not. That sounds like fake news. Yeah. <laughs> but you do still have all three towers standing on the side of uh, Dire, and they are all almost full HP. AB1, not only does he punch really hard, he's also healing up all the towers. Yeah. I mean, he's less than a thousand gold from a Blink Dagger, man. He's going to get it he's, pretty quick this game. I mean, he started hitting a lot of creeps after he found those first two kills, but he slowed down again now. Uh, this is the issue with the uh, lineup he has. He's got, like, such a greedy position three in this game. Let me just, let me just drop it with the Maelstrom. Yeah. That your five is, like, almost never going to find time to find any last hits, even if you're having nature's grasp to work with. Oh, they have the shark at the 15-minute mark. They instantly smoke up. They're going to try and de-ward up onto the high ground, but, of course... Going to get caught there by the ward sentry, so they're just going to have AB1 come clean it up. The thing is, like, Red 2 and Lil Nick can just play together, and it's very scary. You see any hero, and it's, like, almost guaranteed dead. Maybe not the Timbersaw, but, like, 
It is a scary combo indeed. They do see Ben Jazz, but they know half to know the rest of the team is nearby. Yep, good ward drop here in the mid lane. DNM's going for boots of travel. I'm wondering if he's going to go straight bots too. They're just going to go for it. Timber saw mid. Rolling Thunder coming through. Do they have the chain sense? The cookie will get him away for the moment, but DNM will chase after it with a great splitter if his red suit turns his touch on over to Kara. Or, I'm sorry, this Dismar. Finishes him off with ease, peeping out on the run with a haste rune, and he will survive. So, quick one kill in the mid lane. They managed to, uh, to get out on the timber saw, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think you're happy with this on Ravens. If you they commit so hard on five rat and they don't manage to really get anything of value, you're fine. Uh, this is something of value. Oh, this is a lot of value right there. Uh... But, um, I don't know if you've noticed on. recently at all, but uh, Speed just bought a Mjolnir. He just says hyper farm mode now. I'm not sure this is a great idea. You do leave yourself kind of susceptible to getting gone on by the Spectre, if this is what you're going for. But I guess he feels pretty confident in his push, uh, positioning and vision. Yeah, he does need to be a little bit scared of that ward. He doesn't really know it's there, but they're going to use it to try and grab him in the jungle here. The Radiant scan... Does yeah. it connect? They do. All right, they know he's up here. Yeah, they know. And they're under Moonlight Shadow. Spectre's going to haunt Spectre's in. Spectre's going to haunt, yeah. Hit the gold pinata. Get his ass. Yeah, beautifully done. That is a <laughs> lot of gold. As they look for more. Yep. And again, that's, that's really... Realistically, that's your position one. So, nicely done. And gets Parker a lot closer to his Aghanim Scepter as he cleans up these ancient camps, so. Mm -hmm. uh, the question is, do they lane. fumble by taking this They caught this the Timbersaw here. once again, but he gets Cookie to safety. Timber Chain's on out as well. Red 2 can't stay on him with this Rolling Thunder, but DNM's looking for him. Does he get the Split Earth? No chance. He's up onto the high ground. They need another dagger to connect, but PP on the backside. Avalanche toss. He gets the Bloodstone active off. Can he heal through it? It's him. not gonna be enough. They get the kill, and Tiny, he's out, man. Ooh, Wrath of Nature comes through. Speed trying to TP in. Take down Ben Jazz here on the timber side. He needs to know from Proxima. Peep comes in. Avalanche. Nice silence. The dart comes through as well. They can't play around it. Speed cleans up. Mm -hmm. Inspector's right. not there, but she's over in the jungle. Going to be forced to TP out as soon as she clears out these creeps. You can't get on top of her in time. So they do end up losing three in the end. They get a lot for the Spectre, though. Man, that was a like lot of damage Wrath of Nature ended up doing. Yeah. Like we mentioned, it is uh, Parker that's going to be carrying this one. Like, it is all on him. And once he has the Aegean Scepter completed, it's going to be much easier to find these solo pickoffs. It'd be. For him, man. Yeah. You do have to kind of play around the cooldown of Moonlight Shadow, though. Dude, look at With this smoke ward back here, man. This is nuts. Hmm. The seeds of fortune. They're going to smoke. Yeah, it's man. providing them a lot of information. They know they're waiting for a smoke. They know, dude. They're they're going to ping it out as soon as this is done. There it is. Into the Roche Pit. They're going to try and finish this quickly. Little Nick. Right on the front line, getting ready to pop the smoke. They know. He sees him. Dart comes out. Puts the on under. Avalanche toss. Will get the Ricky. Tricks the trade. Will buy him some space. The Wrath of Nature comes through. Does a good chunk of damage. But the Roche on it's falling low, and it's gone. DNM grabs it. Yeah. Arcane Rune bottled for PP. They need to get out here on 5 rat now. Well, maybe not. Oh, Red 2, him. big Rolling Thunder onto 3. They've managed to catch the Snapfire. He will fall. They grab the Marana as well. And the Tiny with a Blink Dagger should be fine. Never mind. He didn't see the Speed TP. Nice Avalanche, mm -hmm. but he's getting body blocked. And they're going to be able to bring him down eventually. Oh, no. He was one at a time. Too slow to make it inside the pit there. And never should have gone it off. All we got was the Ricky from that. But that is an Axe now on the Spectre. But you're a mid tier two tower. You're gonna have to fort this. Yeah. It's so difficult fighting to the Sages. Like DNM had to be kind of afraid of just getting gone on, tossed back into buildings, or Spectre like setting on him with the blade mail. Now he can be a little bit more reckless with how hard he's pushing. Yeah. You are definitely on a timer here, though, on five rat. On five rat? Yeah. Are you sure? I feel like we're going to see a Silver Edge like after the BKB here for speed. And then I think you're you're still able to just like kill these heroes. 
<laughs> I think it is surprisingly easy to kill the less track as a Spectre. That is true. But they do have a pretty significant net worth advantage right now. Yeah, dude, they're 11k ahead. Jeez. They're smoking up here, heading into the triangle once again, hoping they're going to find the NP, but not this time. And we'll find nothing. Well, ooh, DNM. Okay, DNM yeah, might actually get found in the mid lane. Pointless. There is going to be the it's... Spectre, Avalanche. Of course, he does have that A, just like you talked about, so that'll be his first life. The question is, can they find more? Speed just goes in, grabbing Dismar. They're looking for more. They've got the Timbersaw. He's stuck inside the Sprout. He can't get out. Oh, no. Throws the Chakram out, but Speed's got way too much damage. They've caught Tiny on the backside with another dart. The Silence does come through from the smoke screen, and he's tanky, but not enough to survive four heroes. Well, Actually, unless you get arrowed on the last track. I mean, as they're going through all of them. AB1 held the overgrowth for so long, and you end up losing the Pangolier for this. See if you can land another arrow on Car. If he does, he definitely goes down. He tanks the arrow for DNM. Dude, so nice play sick there from by Nick. Little Nick. In front of the bullet for his boy. That's a true American hero right there. God damn, that was uh I, I feel like Five Rat just got I a little overzealous there, you know? <laughs> there there's yeah. they could have just taken the tier two mid, but instead diving to tier threes, end up losing the pango. Quite rough. Those are I feel like kills you can't really give up in this game. Yeah. Pango is worth the, I mean, second highest net worth hero in the game. And if he goes down, then it becomes a lot easier to find areas of the map where you can kind of get on top of the knees, bro. But here's the thing, Ricky. You still haven't hit towers. You, you still have nobody to hit towers. <laughs> <laughs> there are three full health tier one towers, yeah. Uh, against the tree and protector. Yeah. Not easy, not easy. AB, AB1's putting in the work. He's on that grind. <laughs> So you have Eye of Vizier on Ricky plus the Aether Lens. This is one of those heroes that like loves this Eye of Vizier. Shout out to the Redditor who posted that Eye of Vizier was the worst jungle item. Yep. Good Why one. would you use that god forsaken website? <laughs> uh, Parker? Oh no. He has nothing to get out of this. He is going to pop the blade mail, try and use some space for staff to get on out, but they just continue the dive here. Red 2 blinks forward, gets Marana as well. The roll up. Dude, what are these bounces? Red 2 just shredding them as Benjaz gets the timber chain away for the moment, but in pursuit, the dagger right on the Ooh. timber chain. Oh, no. Don't look now, but okay. That's rough. Uh, they've caught Tiny. They the overgrowth does come through. They managed to catch him in the sprout as well. The Mortimer kisses stopped on the backside thanks to little Nick and DNM. It's going to be a team wipe. Five dead on the side of Ravens. Okay, I feel like they're in a really rough spot now, Neff. It was rough before. It's definitely worse now. I mean, right now they're having like a serious lack of disable. Like, as soon as you try to go on high, high ground on five rat, you can start to slip, so I think they just build up their net worth advantage even more. Like, DKB is coming out on left track. Uh, uh, Jim Park just did it again. What? He he used his axe to get to the mid lane. No. He, there's, does he die here? He pops the blade mail. I mean, it there returns matter. a lot of damage. Much. But Red 2's going with the Rolling Thunder. Do they have detection? Okay, they do not. You got to be careful, son. If, uh, okay, he does have a Silver Edge queued up, by this? the way. Probably not. Uh, uh, yeah, he does have a Silver Edge queued up. You do need it. Like, again, the Spectre, if he had Silver Edge there, probably would have gone down. Yeah. Same with, like, finding kills on a Timber Saw as well, right? Like, there's just a lot of really good options for the Silver Edge this game. And then Satanic is his last, is his item after that. I mean, this is, like, the perfect Nature's Profit build. There's not much more you could ask for in this game. Benjaz mm -hmm. mid lane. Oh, gets cookie to ones for the moment, and he's out. Okay, nice enough. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
I like what Lil Nick's doing over here. He's just being such a nuisance, just running around. Daring anyone walk up onto his high ground to deward him. He says not today. He does see the ward get planted, and uh, AB1's just going to waltz on over and destroy that one. Goodbye. I mean, if anyone's tips up here, then speed just TPs in. It's that easy. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, gets the Silver Edge completed just now. That's quite good. So, Wrath of Nature in 10. They could use that as an opening as well to help find some kills, but mm -hmm. they're feeling very strong. Scan comes out mid. It saw Benjaz for the moment. Dude, did you uh, see those new items, that, names that were leaked recently? No. Wait, really? Oh, no, I saw there was a harpoon. That seems cool. Yeah, there's like a harpoon, two new boots upgrades. Uh, there's this thing called the Lunar Crest, which is the opposite Look, the of the Solar Crest. The only thing I care about is fishing, okay? What? A virtual fishing in particular. What the fuck are you talking about? Give me the harpoon, and I don't care about oh the rest of it. Oh my god. All right. I'm actually curious if that's going to be point target or if it's going to be... Uh... Oh, gosh. Speed bottom lane. He needs to get out of here. Oh, no. He's dead. Oh, he has BKB. Doesn't get it off in time. Yeah, he's gone. Woo! That's that is so a much lot money. of gold. <laughs> oh, in comes Red, too. He's like, hey, you want to take down my boy? We can two can play this game. Roll up, back on over to Dismar. Does manage to survive for the moment, but they do secure the kill. Yeah. And little Nick, he's on the hunt. Dagger does come through. Avatas, all right, Ricky goes down. They're gonna turn on over to PP though. It's a BKB committed. There's the overgrowth as well. That's a worthy trade as AB1's now looking for Kara. He has a four staff available, both leaps committed. He should get out of here. Yeah, and he will. It's nice that they managed to take two for two. Uh, they get Little Nick and the Nature's Prophet Spectre haunted across the map as uh, the other heroes were TPing in. Decides to stick over there. Working on the Eye of Scotty now, by the way. That's a good one. Style. So the Spectre is getting pretty farm, but it doesn't change the fact there's a 14k net worth lead. Yeah, it's like Spectre can't be the only core going late game here because there are items that can be picked up to deal with this Spectre, right? Uh, we're going to have to see Benjaz like really start to put in some work on the Timber Saw in terms of damage because obviously this is a hero we've seen completely blow up heroes, right? You get the blink, you get the Ags, ton of damage, but for now, pretty slow, pretty far behind. No. Uh, Are we maybe one sitting in the trees here uh, by the Spectre. Spectre doesn't have any detection, so he's probably going to be fine. Uh, Spectre should probably actually just like get back to base. Yeah, he, he will. Real. He's, he's going to play around no the mana, Shadow Step. It's not good. Yeah, he's just going to go base and then play around Shadow Step. Yeah. Are you talking about what a long grocery spawn time error was, by the way? I don't know. That's almost max duration. That's like just under yeah. three minutes. Yep. Which right. is not great for five rat because again, this just gives uh, Spectre more time to farm items. Red two goes in, manages to find the tiny roll up, continuing the chain stuns up onto the high ground with that four staff with the cookie. Dismar will be able to save him. It will cost him his own life though. And now we will see them pick up the ward on the high ground as well. Reclaim this Radiant Triangle. Is, like you said, they know the Roche is coming soon. It can't be too much longer. And they're just going to hang out here until it respawns. If it's this close to the max timer, they're going to know, man. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Spectre. Yeah, not much there. Still, still working towards that, Scotty. Three seconds on the Roche. They smoke up. They know that this is the max respawn timer. The team is going to be going for it. Uh, Parker does have everything ready. The question is if he buys an ultimate orb save for buyback. I really think he should just save and head to the pit. This is be. This is like an engagement you have to take, and it's one that's super rough too. Ooh. Well, Nick gets oh, the dagger no. out onto Dismar. They're gonna turn around, Wait, try and catch the lash. Does he get any saves Ooh. off? He does BKB at the last 
second. But DNM's got to get in here. What a sprout from Speed, trapping both of them. The Force Staff will save time. He gets out of the low ground, but the Mirana falls instead. Timbersaw caught by that overgrowth, but just not timed perfectly. Does get the chain roots, though, and Red 2. He's looking for these heroes on the backside. We'll connect here onto the Timbersaw as the chain stuns continue from the roll up. And five Rat Force Staff cleaning up big as they find four. Dude, what a sprout. Spectre immediately tries to do damage control. Red 2 TPs up here into the lane, though, and clears out the, these creeps. And it's going to allow them to take rush on, push a tier 2. That was such a six sprout. It was almost such a good arrow, though. The setup onto DNM. If they had landed that, they'd win that team fight. Yeah, I mean, DNM for sure would have died. It's just, yeah. That turnaround with the BKB, absolutely nuts. Aegis and Shard now going to go their way. Uh, they're going to give the Shard to DNM, I guess. So more splitters. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it makes it hard to engage under him when they're trying to push high ground. Just so yeah. good at controlling certain areas. It's ceremonial robe found by Spectre. There's nobody that's amazing on. I mean, Timber Saw is not bad, but he's got Cloak of Flames. It doesn't it increase magic damage? Yeah, it gives negative magic uh, resistance. Pure, it's all pure damage on Timber Saw. Oh, sorry. Magic is not spell resistance, huh? No. Yeah, my bad. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Uh, Satanic now completed on speed. Did this... Good luck wrong. killing this Nature's Prophet. Yeah. 24k gold lead. Five Rat looking real good today. Hmm. Chances they let Pan go through in game two. I'm going to say zero. Yeah, Red 2 has been having an amazing time on this... He's sitting on 5k net worth right now. No idea what he's going to buy. I would say probably a basher. Yeah, it's got to be basher. It has to be. But They find the tiny here. Catch him with the dust. Speed comes in. Does get a nice save there from the cookie and the lotus orb, obviously. And help get rid of that detection. So, they managed to get out. Red 2. Wait a minute. He's managed to find the Mirana. He's like, oh, I bombed something. Little Nick almost died to just expel like, damage on the back end of that team fight, but dodges out with tricks of the trade. Yeah, he's going tranquils. He's like, I just need regen. I can't walk around with zero <laughs> HP anymore. Yeah. Spectre's hurting just when like presses alt. Uh, speaking of Spectre, there's a dart looking for him here in the bottom lane. Mm, oh yeah, it, it's got him. He already meant it. I mean, he's gonna have blade now. Yeah, but you got a Satanic on speed. She pops the BKB, doesn't even get any damage reflected back. Yes, you lose the Ricky, but a worthy sacrifice as Red yeah. 2 cleans up Dismar there on the Snapfire as they go right into the high ground. BKBs are expending a buyback on two of these heroes, though. This could be the opportunity to turn the game around. Well, unless you lose the Timbersaw. There it is. The buybacks do come through. Like you were saying, they managed to take down the Pango. Red 2. DNM's not going anywhere. Up They're so gonna chase much him to gold. the ends of the earth. I mean, he's gonna keep his health fairly tanked up here, but the blade mail is just doing too much. And now on top of speed, Neff, you called it, man. The buybacks, is it enough? He's trying to heal through this. He doesn't manage to do it. You have blink overgrowth. Is it enough? He's, he's gonna, gonna throw try, it. But... Trying to get healed up. Nah, but a nice pick off by PP. He was waiting. He knew the overgrowth was coming. All five dead. Yeah, it's the classic five cat four staff. I mean, this is why their games always go to 50 minutes. If they were as good at defending or ending games as they were defending, this team would be absolutely incredible. But now we finally give up an opportunity for this team to take a single tier one tower. You have to go through two, uh, a single fourth, though. Sorry. Two fourths if you want to take a tier two. Dude, I don't they know if they're do even going to take... They're not even going to take a tower. There's no way. Like, none oh of their heroes take it God. quickly. Give Only Tiny does tower map. Come on. They can have a little bit of the map as a treat. Good no. Good. <laughs> Literally, only <laughs> Tiny does tower damage. Uh, the buildings are missing, like, 200, 300 HP each, and that's it. Because like, it's been so long since they've even been close to these tier 1 towers. I think now everyone is starting to forget about it. He's like, yeah, heals. tier one should definitely be dead by now. Yeah, immediately already healing up the mid tower. There's two catapults here, but they're going to get cleared out by red two. Or uh, at least I think they will. Little next to scout forward. Red two is afraid of getting jumped. The prize is mine. 
I'm surprised I didn't fort the tower, honestly, with the double catapult. Well, now they have it for the next push that uh, really the team tries to make. But you did call this one. All three towers still standing, despite the catapults pushing, despite all five heroes dying. They have still not managed to take a tier one tower 36 minutes into the game. And they died so deep on their side of the map too, right? Like they died back behind the tier, or you know, basically on the radiant high ground. So they had to push all the lanes out, right? Kind of reestablish lane dominance, get wards. Like there were so many other things they had to do in that time frame, mm -hmm. and taking the tower would take way too long to accomplish all of it. I think. Mm -hmm. AB1, I think he scouted the ward in the mid lane. Uh, yeah, he's. He can be completed on Ben Jazz, by the way. Oh my God! All right, that is a lot of damage from the Spectre. Yeah. Spectre do hurt. Bottom lane, blink forward from DNM. Ben Jazz forced to BKB. He gets the bash. There it is. You were talking about it. When's he gonna get next? And now Ben Jazz on the run. I don't know if he's gonna make it out of this one. Yep, shield crash does come through, and they got him. Oh no. Yeah, the bash are incredibly important. I think Swashbuckle's only on a six second cooldown. If he gets the talent at level 25, the reduced Swashbuckle cooldown, he, he could just like stun heroes every time he drops this one. He also has a Brigand's Blade, man. Just like last game. The, the... When you're good, you're good. Yeah. It's just, oh, look at all the high fives. Look at this. Good teamwork here. <laughs> They're pinging out mid lane. Dude, he's almost level 25 in the pango. I mean, he definitely goes to Rolling Thunder cooldown. I feel like you always go Rolling Thunder cooldown on this hero. It's just too good. Like, yeah. you just spam it. I don't know. The Swashbuckle cooldown talent is also insanely good. It goes from, what, 8 to... 8 to 5, and then you get reduced by 25% because of the Octomaker. They're like 4.8 or 4.7. It's pretty sick. It is pretty sick. Dude, several heroes closing out on their level 25 for the Radiant, dude. Lesh, Pango, and the NP all very close. Pango just hit it. All right, so 25 is on cooldown. We'll see what 20 takes. I mean, both are very good this game, honestly. There's a DD rune with a bottle dropped here at the top river. They're going to give that one over to the Nature's Prophet. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. Uh, I don't think Roshan will spawn in the next minute or two here. If if I know anything about five rack games, it's that this rogue will take three minutes to respawn. The double damage rune won't come in clutch for them. We're going to be here for at least another 10 minutes, man. Yeah. He did get the Rolling Thunder cooldown, so 37 and a half second cooldown. Not bad. 25k now with advantage now though. Yeah. Uh that Moonlight Shadow is about to end. They see Benjaz. Whoa. -oh. Split Earth's gonna connect. Fine. They get the silence. He's gonna be forced to BKB. DNM has to respond with his own. A lot of damage being thrown back the other way. As Little Neck's gonna continue the chase here, but the cookie to the low ground, he will be fine. Rashawn, of course. More than two and a half minutes to respawn. Super long respawn again. I don't know what to tell you, man. I've seen this one before. All right. Major's Profit level 25. No TP cooldown now. Nick, AB1, sitting together here on the high ground. Dagger's going to come out of the mana. Ooh, quick Lotus Orb. That was spicy. And just blink away there. They will get the D wards. Interesting that five rats give that positioning up. surprised that they don't just hold on to the triangle as well and let's be maybe they're afraid of the speed just like gets ganked on the other side of the map maybe the fatigue is starting to get to them they played a lot of dota today yeah oh Rentu goes in with the rolling thunder is gonna be able to chain stun down timbersan he has no bkb as we know the four staff does come through speed jumps in just two shots dismar oh my goodness and now looking for pp on the backside tiny 
in some trouble, but a nice haunt does come through. Red 2 falling super low, gets the roll-up, swashbuckles away, trying to survive. There's going to be the overgrowth from AB1, and Benjaz in some trouble as there's going to be a great smoke screen. The damage is just way too much from this Nature's Prophet as the leash will hold him in place. Kara TPing on out, but a 3 for 0. Yep. Now, the real unfortunate part is, yet again, Roshan is not going to respawn until these heroes are back up. Yeah. If they decide to hang around the pit, this time will essentially be wasted. They need to try to pressure high ground right now and see if they can force, uh... Well, I was gonna say force Ooh. buybacks, but... Dude, Nick, no, come on. No tell me you it. see it. Oh my gosh. He sniped a courier, didn't realize that the courier was going to pick up the gem, and then just walked right over the gem. So they're gonna send out oh, another no. courier to go get the gem. It, it just oh keeps happening. Oh my gosh. Dude, it'd been way funnier if Nick was just sitting there waiting for the gem. Oh, uh, there's <laughs> waiting for another. Courier. Like he's just like sitting there waiting. Like, oh, I didn't, I didn't see. Uh, my bad. And it just like kills courier after courier. See, that would have been funny. All right. Uh, the big freeze. They said. Uh, uh, Ed, do you see what's happening down in bottom lane? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. He's gonna be fine. He grabs it bottom, but uh, for staff and the Lotus out from. He just ran back into the stun. Classic. Please move from the stun. He tried to manta dodge it. What can you do? <laughs> uh, Speed now has the Bloodthorn completed as he's going for my favorite item the Revenant's brooch. All right. I don't know why. I mean, there's no easier way to kill a 35 armor hero than to ignore their armor. Yeah, not be able to hit them during BKB. That's quite funny, though. No, I think that was fixed. I think you can hit them during BKB. Deals no damage to magic immune targets. Yeah. You, you can cannot hit, hit them during... <laughs> I suppose you're right. <laughs> I think you can hit them. It just doesn't do anything. <laughs> Mid lane, we're going to see a fight break out. DNM drops the BKB right away, trying to turn them out. In comes Red 2, gets the snap onto that Timbersaw. The BKB going to protect him as PP pops his own. He's going to try and turn around, take down their Ricky, but he doesn't have the damage alone. In comes Speed, the TP after TP, the overgrowth catching the Tiny as well. DNM jumps on over to bring him down. Two fall for the side of Ravens. They are just barely surviving every single uh, engagement on some of these heroes. Yeah. They managed to hold their base. I mean, Tiny doesn't have buyback available. You do have it on Snapfire. Your Tiny is so essential to your base defense, though. He's the one who's going to be tossing people further in and forcing these deep engagements, these people to separate and making life easier for Spectre. Spectre gets gone on, by the way. It doesn't have oh, buyback. Nice Mantis dodge, but they just go for more on the backside. Mirana in, in trouble. Yeah, just leashed up. I mean, she's the Lotus Orb. She's the Dispel here to try and keep these heroes alive, and they're just stuck one by one. Now turning the attention to the Timbersaw. The break comes through. just gets chunked. No chance of surviving that damage. Mid lane of Barracks. Easy fall here. They still have one fortification left for the side of Ravens, but 44,000 net worth advantage, Neff. Nah. It's only going to escalate from here. An insurmountable amount of money, in my opinion. Uh, AB1, dying to an illusion, but has a flicker, so it's quite funny. He's going to live. Second lane of Barracks goes down. No fort left. Speed goes immediately to the top tier three, of course. As why not? No TP cooldowns. You can do whatever you want. Haunt? Is he looking for Treant again? Oh, he doesn't have detection, though. Uh, okay, well, that was the Haunt. They caught the Marana. She does have the four staff away. She's going to be fine. Ricky in some trouble. Does get four staff to the low ground and tricks the trade. He's safe. Meanwhile, the leash onto Tidy. No shot. Red 2 just causing so much of a havoc on the backside. They go in. They look for more here. The Spectre pops the BKB. He's standing his ground quite nice here, but they're just kiting this one out. Mortimer Kiss is not really going to connect. His DNM still got a cheese ready to go. The Nature's Prophet, he went to base. He's coming back to the top lane. He wants to finish the job. Timbersaw is back up now. Tiny nowhere to be seen, though. I yeah. don't think Timbersaw is going to be able to defend this one. No way. Not with the damage that this Nature's Prophet is doing. Absolutely not. He's got... He, he he literally just straight bought out the Revenant's brooch. All right. 45 minutes into the game. 52k net worth lead for 5 rat. They do not have a single tower on Ravens. 
I feel like if there's a case study for this patch, this is it. Come on, speed buy it. Stop teasing us and buy the Revenant's brooch. I just want to see Revenant's brooch get its like first win of, of Dota 2, you know? There it is, baby. Mm -hmm. He's got it. He's completed the item. I cannot wait for him to click someone with a BKB and not do damage for... What is it? Four seconds. It's gonna be very funny. Sorry, five attacks. My mistake. The Basher is done on the Spectre now, so at the very least, the Nature's Prophet can't just TP away from him. If you get his hands on him, it would be... Very Wait big. a minute. Yeah. They got the Hex onto the Spectre. They didn't really expect that one. He's going to get force tapped away, but Speed just destroys these heroes on the backside. He's still got everything available, too. Turns his attention over to the Spectre, breaks him. He's going to pop that BKB and try and run. Meanwhile, Red 2, he's just doing it all, man. He's just doing it all. What can you do? Speed, we'll go ahead and pop that Satanic, start laying into the Spectre. He's going to try and just dance around the fight, but the GG's come out. And an absolute massacre. Yeah, and five rad four staff. They make me eat my words. I told them, I told everybody, you couldn't end the game in less than 50 minutes. You don't have it in you. But they managed to do it in 47. <laughs> I am in absolute shambles right now. They Ricky. barely me surprised. made it work. Uh, yep. Yeah, replay this, requested this is now available. Constantly Thank proving me wrong. But oh, uh, congratulations to them on game number one. They look very uh, clean in this match. There's a couple times where they started to slip. Breaking high ground. Uh, questionable. But again, th this, this game, if nothing else, is like a case study for the current patch and how much you need to actually just end the game without accidentally throwing. I think that we're long overdue for some changes. Yeah, um, it, it just feels really rough, man. Like, yeah. you, you get to 30k ahead and you're just like, yeah, we still can't end. And you're like, all right, I guess we'll just farm. We'll just trap them in their base and farm another 30,000 gold until we can finally end the game. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's becoming a problem. Hopefully we see some change in the upcoming patch because, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite annoying. But great performance all around from Five Rat Four Staff today. They are currently 3-0 and zero on the day, but uh, they've got one more game ahead. So we're going to go do our final break of the evening, everyone. Stay tuned for more. It's going to be the BTS Pro Series Season 14. We'll see you in a bit.